So this is system for mobile dev dojo session. Let's get started. So about this agenda. So first I would like to touch on why you should know about the design system. And then after that, I would like to talk about what is a design system. And then followed by why we need the design system. And then um, we would like to go into the details about the implementation structure. So first, uh, why we should know about the design system. So why is it important to know about the design system is that uh, so I joined Mercury and we have about five members and the uh, front end engineer, web, iOS, etc. So you will need to know the design system and also the designer when they create the UI. It's very important to know about the design system. And also other stakeholders like uh, backend engineers. I think that it's not uh, important for them to know about the design system, but uh, when we do the backend engineering uh, development, Sometimes we need to investigate the client code. So we might need to look into the client code. So um, so in those cases, it's beneficial to learn more about the design system or just know about uh, that the design system exists. So that really is important. So hopefully uh, everyone here will pay attention to today's presentation. And about what is the design system? So simply put, um, design system is a uh, standard language and even in different systems, we are able to have visual consistency. So making sure it's uniform. Uh, so that is what the design system is for. And for the design system idea itself, it's not a new idea per se, um, actually it already exists for a long time. So it's an idea that exists in the real world. So the engineer is kind of uh, taking the concept and applying it. So also uh, if you apply this to other areas like framework, design doc or protocol buffers. Um, so yeah, um, you might not know what this is if I just kind of name it out. So let me give you an example. So first of all, why we need the design system. So the UI implementation, understanding the background of the UI implementation will help out. So if we do not use the design system, and if we uh, implement the UI without the design system, what happens is that the link text, if you want to implement this, um, so I'm gonna just focus on colors for this example. So uh, we have this link text and in the center, we have the link color variable defined here and then you use that and uh, you apply that to the text and for example um, the link text it is being used in various places so imagine if it's uh, used in different places but um, in the different places sometimes engineers might uh you know use a different color by mistake that's quite common like even the same system um they thought that they use the same color but actually it turns out a bit slightly different so without using the design system and let's say you implement the ui it will go well until this point but and the link text, there's only two link text here. So the link text, other place you can write, color, if there's a typo, you are able to find it quite fast. 99R000EF uh, actually is FF, but yeah. But having that said, uh, 
you know, actually day to day work. The, if there's only, there's not many cases that there's only two linked texts. So there will be more, much more. Uh, it's going to be used at a lot of places. Now, for example, the left source code, if you take a look at this, the third text, if you can look at the UI here, the link color night life mode color. Uh, we want to make some changes to the color, link color on blue. Um, so the link text is a blue background. Um, so just like this, um, the link text even it's the same link text on the app, the color and the conditions can be customized depending on situation. And the maintenance will be difficult. And also uh, the similar variable will be defined, etc. So yeah, it was going to be confusing. So in this kind of um, situation, the design system will prevent uh, problems from happening. And for this, um, this is a uh, uh, UI. If you use the design system, what happens is that on the left, um, it's for UI defined here, and the color code will vary accordingly. But on the right, the link text. Uh, implement it and the color itself, as I mentioned, we use a standard language. Design system colors, we use text link to implement the link text. So what I'm trying to say is that you can standardize the color across or throughout. So, and also, for example, link text on blue, if you want a blue background, So you can do like a text inverse as well. So the blue background, or let's say the like that's not white, you can also specify the color. And you can kind of reuse it basically. So a side note that for design system, uh, night mode is supported. So on the left, UI implementation, the link text night mode. If you don't add this in, uh, can be supported. It supports uh, even if you don't add it in. So that's the command of the characteristics. And also, not just the design system, but also UI implementation. Um, we need to be careful about a lot of things. For example, on the left, UI, uh, TNC and privacy policy. This kind of text, if you want to implement, uh, kind of imagine that you're going to implement this. And if you want to implement this text, then you need to look at the source. Is it bold or is it, you know, what's the weight of the You need to be uh, consider it or you need to consider various factors. And of course, at, at your day to day work, we will implement this, but in the font with 200 or the font size, if you kind of manually type it, then uh, sometimes we might have a typing error. And sometimes doing the refactoring later on will be quite um, tedious. So, what we're trying to say is that. Um, so we are basically not perfect. Um, so we have to have make mistakes. So the design system will help us out in that aspect. And on top of that, um, for example, we have the designers here. So the same Apple UI or same Apple icon, if you want to implement it, um, designers will design it, but there's slight difference. On the left will be the white Apple and on the right is the engineers will implement that as, as the same, but but sometimes you know uh, 
the color might be a bit off and it's similar but it's slightly different you know this kind of thing might happen if we don't have a design system and on the right like for example it's an extreme example but if you want to uh, implement an uh, apple but it turns out to be a melon etc so this is a uh, you know, pretty extreme example, but uh, you know, the left source code, if you look, take a look at this, um, you know, sometimes you might have a typing error and you know, the color code, uh, even if you make a mistake, uh, you know, this kind of thing tends to happen. So, and also the UI pattern, there are various patterns, if there are different um, buttons, et cetera, then you might, not know if this is the correct one or the wrong one. So yeah, handling the situation might be difficult. So the design system will be the answer to this. So designer and engineers will use a common language. So designers will use the uh, common language to design and or engineers will use the design system to, for example, iOS, Android, and web. They will implement the UI. And by doing so, even if it's a different system, we can use the design system with just a common language to implement things. And you can do the UI consistency. You can account for the UI consistency as well. So as I said just now, the framework uh, design system for the buffer. So for the framework itself, um, it's a design framework and so you'll be able to create a UI using the framework and for the design document, I think we have a, prior, a session prior to this, but this is Design doc will define um, important things that help us to implement the UI. And as long as we follow that, then, like for example, the color and all the details, you'll be able to take reference to what exactly it is and do the implementation accordingly. And for the design system, we can also use for protocol buffers. And the client side, it might look like an uh, API request. But for the existing interface, if you want to use the existing interface, and like the primary color, what color is it? And, and also which font is being used, etc. So we don't have to worry about that. Um, you can just use the existing interface to you know, use it. I think uh, that's how we can make use of this. So I've been talking about the design system, but as I mentioned just now, so last time, um, it, so uh, lately there are a lot of more companies that are implementing design system because um, the design tool has been changing and it's becoming a game changer. Sketch Zeppelin and Figma uh, has surfaced and that become a game changer basically and especially for Figma um we use it and so a particular feature is really good and this is the Figma screen. So we have this primary button uh there's a UI here and then so the primary button is here and then you click this and it, uh the primary Default is written here, and then you can look at what color is being used across. And that is a pretty big game changer, basically. And on top of that, uh, let me give you another example. So with GitHub Design System, this is an example. Uh, we have the watch button here. So the UI itself, I think um, you can register this as the master. And then if you can take reference to that, then uh, you can embed that in different screens. 
So I think that is the important part of the design system. So what's good about this is that next is about the design system history or background. So first is design of materials and this is before uh, implementing. Um, so this is some one point five. Yes, this is the first generation kind of design system. And after that, we have a uh, different history and 2.0 kind of faded out. Right now, we are using 3.2. So design system 3.0 is, as you know, is we have this thing called the ground up project. So right, we're writing the Macquarie project from zero. So we are using this 2.0. So Swift UI, uh, the technology is being used. So kind of giving you a brief context behind this. So design system, how we're going to use it. If you take a look at this, um, this will be, this will make more sense. But for example, this is the item detail screen. If you click on the purchase button here, there's an individual UI component called the purchase button. It's a design system defined button. So If you can replace the text, it will also serve the similar function using the same UI. So the importance of design system. And let me talk about the implementation of design system. So there are two. The first is the south. Cloud and merging, wording and padding. Those are the main components here. So by having the style, we are able to look at the size and color. So we can use the style and then we can build up the UI. We have the components here. So if you can take a look at this individually, it will make more sense. Um, so this is the actual style part. The brand color, we have various brand colors here. For the brand color icon, uh, there are some common styles that are defined here. And of course, uh, the typography, font size, everything is all uh, under here. For the details, you can take a look at the Figma about that. So the interesting part is that the animation um, execution time or the easing, for example, if, for example, we have this button here, so. It's not uh, just a simple button, but you know we have the icon button, the um, double button, etc. It's all defined here. Not just that, but also the UI that's being designed uh, defined by the design system. You will build the screen according to that. So navigation bar, uh, navigation bottom bar, tab bar. Looks like bar and dialogue is used. And also the list view uh, rows is also defined here. And also currently
the multiple device, um, especially for iOS, we have iPhone and iOS accessibility, uh, all the design system it covers here. The Swift UI as well. Uh, in the previous lecture, I think I wrote this before, but So we can uh, strategically think of the UI using this. That's all for the Swift UI explanation. So in order to optimize all the product people for this, we have a free book here, uh, Android iOS, you can use this. you can uh, take a look at what kind of uh, device system there are in on this page. And the snapshot test. And on CI, you'll be able to execute this here. accessibility you use the design system and you implement uh, it's pretty much supported so uh, we pretty much refer to this when we implement So, you know, for example, elderly people, if you want to look at the small text, etc., uh, we use this to expand the font, etc. I suppose for iOS and Android. So, for the voiceover for Android, uh, I forgot, but so when you use the app, when you tap the UI, So it will uh, voice out what is the text about using this. So if there's any uh, people who have disabilities, they are able to use the app without problem. 